Hi, good morning students. Today, let us discuss on nature of management. There are conflicting views regarding the nature of management. Some others describe its nature as an art, while some others describe it as a science. And another view is that it as a profession. So we can see that the nature of management can be explained through all these three concepts management as an art management as a science and management as a profession let us now discuss management as an art what we mean by art art is the skillful and personal application of existing knowledge in a particular situation to achieve desired results it can be acquired through study observation and experience so we can say that the basic features of an art can be explained through some points it is concerned with application of personal skills and knowledge it involves acquisition of skills and ability it aim to achieve concrete results it's a continuous practice which creates perfection among the employees and art is a creative method which helps in the utilization of the existing knowledge let us now discuss all these factors in detail what do we mean by application of personal skills and knowledge we have to apply all our skills or knowledge we acquired through our experience past experience and our studies we have to utilize it to achieve some useful results so we can say that art involves the acquisition of skills and abilities thus we are focusing on a desired result art aim to achieve concrete results and it's a continuous method we always utilize in an organization and it must be creative also therefore on the basis of above facts let us consider management management is also concerned with application of personal skills and knowledge management involves acquisition of skills and abilities to the managers it aims to achieve desired or concrete results management is a continuous process and its practice creates perfection management is creative and it's a deliberate effort is undertaken to accomplish this creativity into desired results so we can say that management it's an art since it satisfies all the following criteria which means management is the art of getting things done through others now let us discuss do management as a science what do you mean by science science is a systematized body of knowledge that explains certain general truths or the operation of general laws it is developed from observation and experimentation it explains the cause and effect relationship between different variables now let us move through the features of science science is a systematized and organized body of knowledge developed after long years of scientific manage methods of observation and experimentation science are based on principles which are formulated and later tested through repeated experimentation over a period of time under controlled conditions universal validity scientific principles have universal validity that can be applied in all situations and at all times based on above features only we can see that management satisfies some of those criteria of science we can see that management principles are universal but they cannot be expected to give exactly the same results in every situation management satisfies the features of systematized body of knowledge 
it has its own theories and principles developed by experts over a period of time management since deals with human beings and human behavior the outcome cannot be accurately predicted so principles of management are flexible and can be applied in different situations with modifications so we can say that management is not an exact science it is known as soft science or social science or in exact science now let us move on to profession profession is an occupation supported by specialized knowledge training and skill it involves rendering of personal services of a specialized and expert nature organization are on the lookout for individuals called professionals with specific qualifications to manage them does this imply that management is a profession now let us move through its characteristics a profession should be a well defined body of knowledge or a professional should seek a professional qualification which can be acquired through certain instructions and guidelines restricted entry entry to a profession is restricted through an examination or acquiring an educational degree for example to become a chartered accountant in india one has to pass the prescribed ex- examination conducted by the institute of chartered accountants of india third one professional association all professions are affiliated to professional associations these association regulate the entry issue certificate of practice and formulate and enforce a code of conduct on their members for example to practice in india a lawyer should be a member of bar council of india a doctor should be a part of indian medical association next one ethical code of conduct members of a particular profession have to abide by a code of conduct this code of conduct guides the behavior of its members by taking an example doctors lawyers etc take the oath of ethical practice at the time they enter into the profession and the final one service motive the basic motive of a profession is to serve the client's interests by rendering dedicated service for example lawyers must ensure that their clients get justice similarly doctors must offer best treatment to their patients for going all these discussions let us now verify management do management possess all those features of a profession or do management complete all those criteria management does not restrict the entry into managerial jobs to people with a special academic degree because anyone can start business whether they are lawyers whether they are into professional qualifications of mbbs or they whether they passed engineering degree even without minimum qualifications many of them can start business so there is no minimum qualifications prescribed for managerial personnel no management association has the authority to grant certificates to practice or to regulate entry into management careers the management association have no legal right to enforce their code of conduct there is no single client group to which managers owe complete loyalty but we can say that managers are responsible to the owners they are responsible to their customers as well as to other social groups management aims to achieve organizational goal of profit maximization to survive in the competitive business world management has to give importance to social obligations also so the concept is changing and the management is nowadays serving society by providing good quality products at reasonable prices so we conclude that management has some of the features of profession but management does not meet the exact criteria of a profession thank you